What are you smiling about? I was just thinking about how I could possibly repay you for bringing Arion home to me. I'm sure I could think of a few things. <laughs> Name your price, Mistios. One item of clothing for every act of kindness performed. By my count, that's two. You can have my sandals. <laughs> but if you want to earn more, there is one more thing you can do for me. <clears throat> Fine. What is it? Arion wants to be a mighty warrior. But I can't lose any more of my family to war. If Arion learns to fight, he can protect you and the farm. I can't work this farm alone. He won't listen to me, but he looks up to you. I can see it in his eyes. I'll talk to him. But I don't think he's as fond of me as you are. You flatter yourself. Just show him how to plant seeds, burn some old grass, maybe slaughter a few chickens. It will seem more exciting coming from you. Hello, Arion. Go away! I'm not talking to you. You don't have to talk, but you should listen. Hmm. I lost my father when I was young. I ran far, far away. My only friend in the world was Icarus. One day, a bully threw a rock and nearly broke his wing. What did you do? I cut off his fingers. With this. The Spear of Leonidas? Can I hold it? You can, but first I need you to do me a favor. Your mother needs you. <gasps> You're going to train me to be a mighty warrior? I will. I think you'd both benefit from having someone around here who can fight. Uh, I'm going to be the fiercest warrior you've ever seen. I'll cut my enemies into pieces! Stay close and pay attention. I won't have you injuring yourself. First, a warrior must be resolute in their decision to kill. When you're face to face with the enemy, you cannot hesitate. Hesitation hastens the grave. My mother taught me that. How often should I train? All day, every day. And when your hand starts to bleed, switch hands. For now, we're going to find you a wooden sword. Yeah, this should do. If you're going to learn to fight, you need to use all your senses to anticipate your enemy's every move. How am I supposed to know that? By taking in the enemy before you and trusting your instincts. Watch. I'm going to swing at you from the right side. I want you to defend yourself. Okay. I'm ready. Very good. I blocked the eagle better. I'm the greatest warrior who ever lived. Don't get cocky. The moment a warrior gets too proud is the moment they get cut down. This time I'm going to attack you from the left. Bring it on. You're a fast learner. I wish Pater could see me now. What happened to the bully whose fingers you cut off? He went and got his brothers. They beat me pretty badly. You didn't have any friends to protect you? Not until one little girl stood between me and those boys, and with the rage of Ares, screamed at them to leave me alone. Really? A girl? That little girl was me. Whoa, Mater! Cassandra taught me to be a mighty warrior like you! She did what?
you wanted me to teach the boy, I can't teach him what I don't know. But what I did teach him, he can... He can go to war and die like his father. Like my husband. I know you've been through a lot. But you can't protect the boy by living in the past. I, I thought bringing you here would help us have a better future. I, I thought if you showed an interest in the farm, he'd get excited and maybe give up on becoming a warrior. It was wrong of me to put that burden on your shoulders. I'm sorry. Nice having you around, Cassandra. But I feel bad. All these years apart, and you've spent most of your time with Arion. Let's get away from all this, just you and me. There is a market in the year. I haven't been to in ages. There's food and wine and music. An evening alone sounds perfect. But what about Arion? Don't worry about him. All you need to worry about is meeting me in the year. I should find out what Anais likes before our evening together. Anais must have a lifetime supply of olives stashed here. So this is where Anais keeps her wine. <laughs> Smells strong. I'm getting lightheaded just sniffing it. Anais never told me she made honey.
Let's find something to eat and drink, shall we? The merchants have the most delicious selections. And tonight, I'll leave the decision-making to you. of Kefalonia. We could steal from this one, for all time's sake. Oh, always the troublemaker. <gasps> Welcome, my friends. I have a wonderful selection of wines for you and the lovely lady. Only the finest grapes from the finest vineyards. Do you prefer your wines dry, sweet, or strong? You've been all over the world. You must know all the best wines. We'll have the sweet wine. I like my wine strong, but this will do, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Everything smells so delicious. My mouth is watering. Smell that? That's the tastiest food in all of the year. Tell me, what will it be? We have leg of lamb with rice and olives, roast chicken with fresh vegetables, and slow cooked goat stew. Oh, decisions, decisions. We'll take the lamb with olives, please. Oh, I love olives. I'm going to devour this meal. And then I'm going to devour you. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I needed this. Where? <gasps> Here. Welcome, welcome. If you've got sweet teeth, then I've got sweet treats for those teeth. What will it be? Grape pudding with walnuts, fresh strawberries with cream, or baked pears with a honey glaze? Oh, yum! Choose wisely. I love sweets. We'll have the grape pudding. Oh, this is fine, I suppose. Nothing's as sweet as honey, though. This was... fun. It's late. We should get back to the house. Don't want Arion to worry. Mater! Mater! You're not going to believe it! What is it, Arion? Bandits attacked the house! But I found one of Pater's old swords and did everything Cassandra taught me! And I scared them away because I'm a warrior like the mighty Eagle Bearer! That's incredible, Arion! You. I hate to say I told you so. Don't lie to me. You love to say I told you so. <laughs> you always did. The boy defended what's his. You should be proud of him. I am. I am. But? Cassandra, 
There is something I need to tell you. Anything? Having you here was the first time I felt joy since my husband died. I hoped you were still the same person I loved back on Kefalonia. And that if you felt the same, there'd be a place for you here. Anais. Please let me finish. The fact you taught Arion to fight, when I explicitly asked you not to, shows me you're not the partner I'm looking for. But he fought off those bandits. He could have been injured, or worse. I understand. And it's okay. You felt you knew what was better for my son. And maybe you're right. But I'm looking for someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'm just not the person you thought I was. I should go. It wasn't fair of me to have these expectations. You are wonderful the way you are. And I'm happy we got to spend time together. Parting as friends, then? Of course. We will always be friends. Say goodbye to Arion for me. I will, Eagle Bearer. <laughs>